Alright, hey you guys, so I was just coming to show you a simple recipe that I like to make. Um, it's a recipe my mom showed me how to make. And I really like it because it includes a lot of great things for when you're pregnant. Um, it's a simple ground beef and spinach, but it tastes really, really good. Um, I first started, I cut, <coughs> I cut a half of an onion and about a teaspoon of chopped garlic. So just some minced garlic and a half of an onion. And I went ahead and let that caramelize in a little bit of oil. It's about, uh, I would say, I don't really measure, so it's like a one-fourth cup of oil. And I let them get nice and soft. Then I add about two pounds of ground beef. Um, you can use any type of meat. I like ground beef because I like the flavor, but I've made it with turkey meat before. And I use 81% lean. I've made it with 90, but the flavor is, the flavor's not there. Now I just season to taste. I use just plain black pepper. And salt. Use pretty much any seasoning, but these work just fine by itself. And you just season to your own taste. <coughs> My fifteen, go get me the spinach, please, out the the sink there. Okay. Uh, I let two bags of spinach just defrost. I'm using frozen spinach. You can use fresh spinach. I've used fresh spinach before. It cooks the same way. But I just let it get soft. I like this recipe because of all the great stuff it has in it. The spinach, the crunchy dough. Excuse me. You need spinach for the folic acid. The ground beef has a lot of add iron. You want to cut down on the fat, just add less oil and the less. maybe a 90% ground beef or ground turkey lean ground turkey because you can get the same fat content high fat in turkey ground turkey as well Quick, Michael, can you hand me the other bag of spinach please You don't have to wait for this to defrost, but it makes the cooking process a lot faster. And if you do use fresh, it takes a while for it to wilt. And you might have to add a little bit more oil than you would with the frozen. So, it seems like a lot of spinach, but it really isn't. And you want that good amount of spinach. You want to taste the spinach. So I'm just going to let this come up and cook. Now, while that's cooking, I'm going to just turn up the heat a little bit, let that simmer. While that is cooking, excuse me, my friend. I'm just going to put some rice on. This is how I like to eat it. Over rice. Mm -hmm. 
Can you please wait, my dad? like that, but I like the rice, so we'll grab my rice, just can you just show the food right here. cups of rice there. Should be enough. Got my rice cooking. I have to take this time to apologize for my two cameramen and crew <laughs> because they sit, sit still long enough just to make the video. This is Christopher, the cameraman, <laughs> and here's Christopher, uh, Micah, my crewman, my helper, and they think it's so goofy to make a video, so mm -hmm. they can't sit still long enough to make the video, so I'm going to finish it on my own, but, like, oh, what? Yes. So, like I said... And just like basically just bringing this up to heat. Micah, do you like spinach or ground beef? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Good for the kids. Mama. That's basically what it looks like. It's not it doesn't take any more than that to cook and you have a full meal. Healthy meal. Once the rice is done, I will show you how I put it. Alright, so this is a finished product. I just served it with some rice. As you can see, I added some tomatoes afterwards and some ketchup. Let me just go over the ingredients one more time. Um, again, I put half of an onion, small onion, and I just sliced it with some garlic. And I sauteed it in the pan so it was translucent. Then I added the ground beef. I had the ground beef and two bags of frozen spinach. Then I seasoned the ground beef with black pepper and salt. You can season it with whatever. Those two work just fine. I wouldn't use too much salt because it kind of defeats the purpose. But then my mom pointed out that I forgot to add the tomatoes. You're supposed to add with the onions, so I just added a can of diced tomatoes at the end and about a fourth of a cup of tomato ketchup. It's okay, it added a little bit more nutrients, get some lycopene and some vitamin C. So, hey, why not? And this is what it came out, what it looked like, and it's done. And I just made some regular rice and when I plate it this is what it looked like and I mean this is one of my favorite meals to eat especially when I'm pregnant I can get a lot of good stuff in there that I need 
and that's pretty much it all right thanks i'll be back with more good pregnancy recipes for you later hope you enjoyed thanks